What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my another video and today we are going to look at dbSNP database. So what is dbSNP database? dbSNP database or single nucleotide polymorphism database is the freely available database that contains human single nucleotide variations, microsatellites and small scale insertion and deletion. It is hosted by National Institute of Biotechnology Information and CBI and with a summary of each variant it also contains the variant publication population frequency, molecular consequences, genomic and RAPSEQ mapping information. So let's search the variant on dbSNP database to see what we will get. So first we have to go to dbSNP website which is hosted by NCBI and here we go. So, for example, in a search bar, we search for the variant RS7767. This is a variant which actually affects the function of metabolism of drug named Draculonimus, which is an immunosuppressive drug. So, let's click the variant in Homo sapiens. Here we go. So in the first panel, it shows the name of organism, which is Homo sapiens, and the position of that variant in the chromosome, and the allele change, which is D2C, and the type of variation, which is SNB, single nucleotide variation, and the frequency in different databases. And it has some clinical significance. That's why it is reported in Coimbra. And the name of gene and the number of publication on that variant. So the first tab we have the variant detail. It shows the known variant placement on genomic sequences like here. And the second tab, which is clinical significance, it shows the list of clinical significance entries from ClinVar associated with the variation. As I told you that this variant has some effect on drug metabolism. So its clinical significance is related to drug response. And the other tab, which is frequency, it shows the reference and alternative allele frequencies reported by various databases. Like here, it shows the frequency of a different population in alpha database. It also shows the frequency in other databases like Genome AD, HapMap and from GKB and here we have HGBS which means sequence variant nomenclature it display the variant placement and allelic changes on genome and transcript and protein sequences and the another tab is submission submission display the submitter handle Submission identifier, date, and build number when the submission appeared for the first time. History tab display the RSID from the various build that now supported the current RSID and the dates when the history was updated for each RSID. Publication. Publication tab display the PubMed articles which citing the variation as as a listing of PMID, title, author, year, and journal, like here. And the last tab, which is planks. Planks provide retrieving planking sequence of a SNP on all molecules that have placement. That's it for today's topic. So, see you in the next informative video. Thanks for watching. Take care.